Hello, I'm Dr. Brant Gibson, and today I want to talk to you about polydactyly. Polydactyly actually is a condition where a person is born with an extra finger or extra toes. It could be extra fingers, extra toes. The term comes from Greek word for many, or poly, digits, dactylos. So if you have many digits or additional digits, it's polydactyly. Um, this can and often does run in families, but there are some genetic mutations or environmental causes that have been shown to cause it to happen as well. So let me give you some quick little facts, some quick little information. Um, polydactyly can actually present as a completely functional digit. It could be partially formed with some bone, or it could be just a nubbin or a mass of soft tissue where there is no bone intact. It could have happen on the little toe or little or pinky finger side, which is called postaxial, or it can be preaxial, which is on the thumb side or big toe side, or it could be centrally. Postaxial or on the fifth digit side is the most common. Thumb or big toe side is second most common and central is the least common. Um, they can be independent of any syndromes or it can be associated with syndromes. Uh, some common syndromes where we'll see these extra digits would be Down syndrome, um, acrocephalosyndactyly, Greg's syndrome, Carpenter syndrome, just to name a few. There are multiple others that can also be found to do this. So there are some genetic defects or genetic problems where you can actually have a syndrome with it, whether it's a birth defect or a developmental defect or whatever that can actually come with polydactyly. That being said, you can also look at the fact that it's usually more common on the right hand and the left foot. It is a lot more common in the hands and the feet. It's twice as common in men and it usually occurs about one in 1,000 births in the general population. However, in African-American population, it seems to be one in 150, so it's more common. Um, so the question is, what are the symptoms? It really is, you just have extra digits. Oftentimes they're not, not painful, not problematic in any other way, although it does make shoes, shoe fitting harder. And a lot of times in the United States, these are treated early on prior to being age where they're walking around and doing things, those kind of things, as far as the feet are concerned. Um, there was one study run in 2013 in Poland that says you could have an increased risk of polydactyly if you're a child of a woman with diabetes, if you have a low birth weight, um, earlier in the birth order, so like your first or second child, um, their mother has an upper respiratory infection during the first three months, history of epilepsy, uh, really, the, the truth is these may not be causa causations as much as just finding that they actually correlate well with that. So if you're treating this, the most common way to treat this is to actually remove the extra digit and return the foot or hand to normal appearance, normal function. Uh, so polydactyly, an extra digit on the either on the inside of the hands, outside of the hands, or centrally, depending on how it happens. It can happen in the feet as well, of course, which is why I'm, why I'm talking about it. But the truth is, this is not a super common problem, and it is relatively easy to treat. Again, it's called polydactyly. This is Dr. Brant Gibson. Have a great night.